When our family moved to Utah, it was really a hard move for her. Um, And she went from being a happy, vibrant little eight-year-old girl to by that next summer, she was scared to go outside. She's experiencing high amounts of anxiety, extreme fear of bugs and choices and stuff like that. And I was just like, this is not her. I don't know what happened. Um, And so we went and talked to her doctor about the anxiety. He says, maybe we should get her into a counselor. And so I tried calling several counselors, but she was young enough that they're just like, well, we don't deal with kids that young. And so I'm kind of like, what do I do now? <laughs> you know. And so I was blessed to do two things. Um, while we were going through this and I was trying to find answers, um, I remembered one of my friends in Texas had a son who was struggling with childhood depression. And she said that he had started taking some vitamins that had really helped him pull out of this childhood depression. And I remember thinking, wow, that's pretty incredible. But didn't think anything of it until my daughter was struggling with the severe anxiety. And the thought came to me, well, if it helped him that much, maybe it can help her with her anxiety. So we started taking the micronutrient vitamins and started notice her coming a little bit out of it. Totally different child. Totally, totally different child. It was like she was able to get what her body needed and move past the trauma of moving here and become her normal happy self. Does she still struggle with anxiety? Yeah. Is it on the level that it was back then? No, not even close. (laughs) She is, she's happy. She interacts socially now. She goes outside all the time. She still does not like bugs, but she's not like paralyzed, stay in her room. (laughs) I don't want to see any bugs type fear. So we've come a long way. So we've seen a huge difference and she has also noticed a huge difference. She knows she's not where she was um, five, six years ago. She knows she's doing better. And so she, she actually happily takes, I don't have to remind her to take her vitamins. <laughs> I sometimes have to remind my son a little bit, uh, my 17 year old to take his vitamins, <laughs> but, but she, she happily takes hers because she knows that they really do help her. And they've done studies um, to show that when your body gets what it needs, it will help you with these related symptoms which show up as anxiety or depression. Um, doesn't mean that you should never take depression medicine. Heavens no. You know, maybe you need a combination of both. Um, but it's figuring out the right balance for each unique individual. Um, and I think, I really am a firm believer that if our bodies do get what they need, they will be able to function much, much better. My son Jacob is 17 and we have seen the most change in him from the time he was little. Anytime he could figure out a way to escape from our house, that is what he did. Um, And that was very um, frightening for my husband and I. Uh, We felt like we tried to make our home a fortress where we'd have multiple locks on the door. And, you know, he's very physically capable too, which is wonderful in a lot of regards but back then it was such a struggle i mean at age three he'd figured out how to hop over our six foot fence in the backyard he would put his little fingers in the cracks in between the wooden fence and kind of spider-man crawl his way (laughs) over the fence and i just remember thinking dear god what do i do with this child how do i keep him safe i'm sure he had like 20 guardian angels on him full time just because It was physically very challenging. If it would have just been me and him one-on-one, it would have been challenging. So, and I had other kids that I was worried about as well. So his autism was, um, he, he, he was, he's always been very, very bright. I mean, he read before he started kindergarten processing. His secondary diagnosis was ADHD. And so he's just very, very busy, very, very active. Um, and he has come so far. Like I, I think back to the child he was, and I remember trying to even picture my future 
when when he was little and it was just so overwhelming for me to try to picture what my future was going to look like when my kids were just so exhausting all the time and I never would have imagined that he'd get a part-time job in high school never would have thought that possible and yet he did this summer um, in school work he has gone from like his first year in school um, in kindergarten spending 90% of his time in the little autism classroom that he was in to the second year he was flip-flopped he spent 90% of his time in regular education with an aide and as as we progress through the school years he has become more and more able to interact with regular ed children and and to this point where he's not in any special ed classes now in high school, which is almost unheard of. These kids don't usually move through special ed. He still has a few minor accommodations, but he really does function um, pretty well um, on his own. He still struggles with social things, but he's really doing very, very well. And so yeah taking the daily essential nutrients we probably started him five years ago on those and i think they do they really do help him focus when he takes them um, and it's helped his body get the nutrients it needs to function at a higher level than he was able to before the neat thing about daily essential nutrients is you're getting it in a form that's absorbable in your own body and you're also getting it in the right amounts for your own body. If someone asked me, how can you be sure the nutrients are effective? I would just say, try it. I mean, if they help, it's better, right? And if you don't try it, you won't know. So it's worth a shot, especially if you're struggling with hard heart issues like anxiety or depression or autism. <laughs> They're not gonna hurt, basically. Um, so, it's worth a shot.